Hey, welcome back to Acoustic Interlude. I'm John McDonnell, and we're broadcasting from the 30A Songwriters Festival. And look who we found, Jerry Douglas. Just washed up on the beach. It's <laughs> kind of cold down there. Yeah. What are you going to do for us, man? Well, um, let's see. I think I'll do, first thing I'll do is, is uh, something that my hands are uh, tuned up for, actually. So, um, so I haven't played that much. I did one, one set this morning with Jeff Black and, mm -hmm. and Mary Gaucher and, and uh, some, uh, some other folks down there. But uh, let's see. This is called A Tribute to Heather O'Donnell. And uh, it was a commissioned piece for a fellow named Donald Lunny, who uh, you familiar with Donald? Yes, I am. He's uh, from Moving Hearts and you know a lot of Irish bands. Yeah, but, and Planxty, uh Who knows? You name different it. bands he's been in. Yeah, but uh, well, this was a, a piece, a commission piece, one for him a long time ago. And there might be some other things that fly in and out of this. So sounds uh, cool. I'll tell you what they are when I figure out what they are. So. <laughs>
several tunes. That was called. That was uh, a tribute to Pather O'Donnell. It was a song called uh, uh, "Little Roro," which was a uh, a kid that uh, wanted to be a rap star, <laughs> but his name was Pierre McDonald. <laughs> Wasn't going to happen, so he changed it to "Little Roro." And the last song was uh, "A Monkey Let the Hogs Out." Ah, I love that. So one. you know, they're all you know particular titles. A mashup. Yeah, a mashup. Yeah. That's what it is. You going to do another one for us, and we'll come back and talk for yeah, a couple of minutes. let's see. Jerry Douglas on Acoustic Interlude. We're broadcasting from the 38 Songwriters Festival. Welcome officially, Jerry, <laughs> to the show. I appreciate you coming out. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. As you, now, you've been around this area before, and we were talking about it right before we went on. It's, uh, it's a nice little quirky area, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A lot I of mean, quirky folks. It's been here for a long time, and, and, but uh, through the, you know, a vision of one architect in particular, mm-hmm. you know, who started Seaside down here, it's become, it's become yeah, a real quirky place, and, <laughs> and uh, a lot of us have found it. A lot of musicians have found this place. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, it's a really nice place for us to go. Not too far from Nashville or Atlanta or yeah. Houston or New Orleans, but, you know... Uh, Used to be Gulf Shores. Everybody went to Gulf Shores. Sure, right. Now, now it's sort of you know it's the red it's part of the Redneck Riviera. <laughs> yeah, or Nashville South, as, Nashville as a lot of South. folks refer to it. Give me a thirty-second or so history of the dobro because I think it is just the coolest instrument on the planet. Well, it is the coolest instrument on the planet, that's for sure. But it was um, it was invented by five Czechoslovakian brothers. You have to follow this because it's very international. Uh, but they immigrated to the United States in the early 20s and then uh, went to uh, went straight to California. They were cabinet makers and fiddle makers and had actually been thinking about making 
uh, a guitar that was louder than other guitars, you know, yeah. because of, uh, you know, the speaker cone sort of situation they put in the top of the guitar and put a metal cover plate over the top of that. They first started National Guitars in Chicago mm -hmm. and uh, then moved, uh, moved over because the war was coming on. You know, in the in the late '30s, middle '30s, uh, the, everybody saw that happening, and uh, a lot of the metal uh, for the metal-bodied guitars was going to go to the war effort. Absolutely. So uh, uh, they they created this wooden-bodied one, mm -hmm. the, and I've always played wooden-bodied uh, yeah. Dobro's Dobro guitar, but Dobro guitar is is uh, is five the, the five brothers last name was dopiera oh okay so that's where it comes from okay, they're czech gotcha. czech uh they're actually slovakian from close to bratislava slovakia mm -hmm. uh came over here and uh uh dopiera uh brothers is shortened to dobro which mm -hmm. means in their country means good really the, the word dobro means good everybody's going dobro <laughs> dobro dobro you know it's like so I've been over there a few times, and you know it's sort of like you see you hear Dobro all the time, and you and you're thinking, wow, they're talking about me, but they're not. Yeah. You know, so so is it a generic term now? You know, Dobro. I mean, it's not copyrighted or anything. Well, or? it is copyrighted by Gibson Guitars. Oh, by Gibson. Okay. Got yeah. It. So they'll sue. They'll sue you. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you know, I, I I've never been sued. I, you know, but but. Uh, it's sort of like yeah, it's like Kleenex, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a specific brand, but everybody says everybody Kleenex, says yeah. it, you know. And if you started suing everybody, they would eventually run out of money, and we'd, <laughs> we'd win. Yeah. But but uh, yeah, it's a resophonic guitar. It's been called, but that's too long. Dobro works just fine with me. Yeah, and everybody knows what you mean because everybody's <laughs> heard it. And yeah, those things are loud. I mean, you know, it's it's just incredibly loud. Well, it was it was created for. Uh, for Hawaiian music that wasn't loud enough, yeah, <laughs> and and then it then it creeped into uh, blues. You know, uh, Robert Johnson and fellows like that. You know, used used these guitars a lot because there weren't good sound systems in those days, and there weren't guitars that were loud enough to play with their singing. They could oh, sing sure. yeah, much yeah. louder than their guitar, so they got a hold of these things, and all of a sudden <laughs> they had a they took off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they had a real companion. Yeah. We got to make room for uh, John Oates here. Uh, as a matter of fact, there he is. There's John Oates. Yeah. So why don't you do two more pieces for us, Jerry? And I'll do you a couple more pieces. Let's see. What have I got left? Uh, let's see. Let's see. What did I? What did I see over here? I had it just a second ago. Um, really having fun down here at this festival, and uh, uh, really, you know, it, it was actually John that. Uh, Got me started, gave me the, the idea, you know, to come down here. Oh, really? And yeah. Uh, yeah, he's he's good, good man, good man. That that John John Oates <laughs> fellow. That's what everybody says, you know. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to Drew Tillman this morning. Yeah. And we were talking about, you know, I, he was saying some good things about John, and I said, you know, I have never heard anybody ever ever say a bad word about John Oates. No, you won't. I mean, he's he's uh, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame sh shortly, you know. But he's he's a fellow that. Uh, he comes in on he comes in on your level, you know. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't take those things really, you know. He doesn't swing those at you. <laughs> he, uh, you know, it's a big bat. He could be swinging there, but he, he's uh, he's a he's a musician, you know. Yeah. He's a real live, true musician. So let's see. Let's see. I'm in this detuning, so um, uh, let's see. I want to play you a little bit of uh, what was it I was looking at for the other. This is a song I wrote for my wife. This is called Senior's Lament. Let John take over from here.
Nice. I like the way they you can turn them off like that too. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, it's got all that sound coming off, and you just laid your hands on it and like gone, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, is big so volume cool. Volume knob back there. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna let John take over. Is that right? That's what I understand. If he's ready, <laughs> he's he's fishing out a lot of stuff out of there. He's got wires. Yeah. He's got wires down in there. Yeah. He's got a whole bag full of stuff. You sound great organic. You should probably just <laughs> do it. You can use that later and, you, you know, go build it build it up. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to build it from the ground up. Go organic and then start adding that little pedals. And before the end of the night is over, you know, they won't recognize you at all. <laughs> 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 Thanks a lot, Jerry. I Thanks, really appreciate man. it. My pleasure. Jerry Douglas nice on Acoustic Interlude on WUWF from the 30A Songwriters Festival. John Oates coming up next.